modern horses haven't always existed. Horses evolved gradually through a long series of transitional phases during the Cenozoic era. The first horses were under a meter in height. They possessed lateral toes, three toes on their hind limbs and four toes on their front limbs, and their teeth were adapted to browsing on leaves. As the planet became cooler and drier and grasslands spread, these early ancestral forms gradually became larger, modified their teeth for grazing on grass, and modified their legs so that it, their legs became monodactyl, or having one main toe. Uh, this allowed them to run very quickly in one direction, which is an advantage in plains habitats, as opposed to being able to quickly jump from side to side, which is uh, more of an advantage in dense foliage. The skulls of horses show gradual transitions from basal parasodactyls in the Eocene to the modern horse of today, uh, which first appeared only about three and a half million years ago. During this time period, the skulls became much larger. A post-orbital bar developed behind the eye to protect the eye, and the teeth were modified so they specialized on grazing uh, grass material as the grasses spread throughout the world and especially in the plains of North America where most horse evolution occurred. The types of teeth which allow horse to graze on plants are high crown teeth and are very distinctive and the anatomical features of these teeth develop slowly in stages throughout horse evolution. Myohippus probably included some tougher material in its diet, and Merychippus was probably the first true grazing horse feeding primarily on grasses. After Merychippus, additional modifications evolved in the dentitia of horse leading up to the modern horses of today. The ancestors of horses possessed five fingers and toes. Early parasodactyls had reduced this number to three toes and four fingers, even though the remains of the additional uh, toes and finger uh, were still evident in forms such as Hyracotherium. The fourth finger was retained in Aurohippus, Mesohippus, and even occasional splint seen in Myohippus. Beyond this point, all horses possessed only three toes in their uh, hands and feet. While many of these lineages retained prominent uh, lateral toes and apparently used them, in some lineages these lateral toes became smaller and smaller and would only have contacted the ground while jumping or while making side-to-side -side movements. In some lineages, these lateral toes became even smaller still to the point where they would never have touched the ground. And in the genus Dinohippus, the lateral toes were finally lost, producing monodactyl horses, which would be the ancestors of the modern genus Equus.